What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about third grade math. And our topic is going to be about identifying shapes. Identifying shapes. So you guys have definitely heard of, you know, some simple shapes like a square, a rectangle, a circle, a triangle, a hexagon, a decagon, an oval. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm, ex I'm going to talk exactly about that today. So let's get started. So the first shape we're going to look at today is going to be a square. It's going to be a green square also. So that is a square. So the square has... Let's write out a few rules about what squares are. So, the first rule is that the square has four sides. Has four sides. Let me write this as a square. Square. It has four sides. Two. All sides are the same length. All the same length. So, let's say that this length right here is two inches. That means all of the other sides are also two inches. Meaning this, this is two inches, this is two inches, and this is also two inches. So. Those are the basic rules about what a square is. Now let's go into another shape. Our next shape is going to be a rectangle. It's going to be, a, let's see, a blue rectangle. Because I like the color blue. Alright, it's a blue rectangle. Just like the square, this has a few rules of itself. So, first rule is, only two of the sides are same. So, two sides are same. Actually, let's phrase that in a better way. The two opposite sides are exactly the same. So, I will give you an example after I write this down. The two opposite sides are the same and the second rule is that it has four sides has four sides okay so regarding rule one when I said that the opposite sides are the same I meant that let's label this as a B C and D. Okay, so what I mean is that A and C are going to be equal to each other. That means A, A is equal to C. And B and D are opposite to, opposite to each other. That means B is equal to D. That's it. That's exactly what a rectangle is. Let's go into our next shape now. Okay, so our third shape is going to be a red circle. Yep, that is a circle. Circle. Okay. The circle has one rule. There are no edges. There are no sides, actually. Let's call that a side. There are no sides. That means the circle is pretty much just a circle. You can't say this, you can't say it has four sides or five sides, it has no sides. That's pretty much exactly what a circle is. Let's go on to our next shape. Alright, so our next shape is going to be a yellow triangle. Alright, so this is our yellow triangle. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a terrible triangle. But whatever, that's fine. So... 
the triangle has one rule, one main rule. So, the main rule is that it has three sides. Okay, the sides lengths can vary from triangle to triangle, depending on if it is a right triangle, equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, yeah, or a scaling triangle. They all depend. So the second rule is side lengths may vary. May vary. So that is essentially what a triangle is. So our last shape is going to be a hexagon. So let's go on to our hexagon. Alright, so this is our beautiful hexagon. Alright, I was joking, that's not beautiful, but it'll do. Hexagon. So the hexagon has one, one main rule. It is that it has six sides. So a shape with six sides would be called a hexagon. I know last slide I said that this would be our last shape. I just want to squeeze in one more shape before we go on to our questions. So let's go into let's go on to that next last shape. All right, as you guys can see, I'm totally not an artist. So this is called a pentagon. All right, I wrote that really big, but okay. So the pentagon is one rule. It has has five sides so that's it we're done with our shapes now this last side is going to be sort of like a quiz to see if you guys can identify the shapes we've talked about today so let's go on to that quiz all right so the question is what are these shapes so this shape the first one is a circle All right, the second shape right here is a, well, it could be either a rectangle or a square. But since we know that all four sides are the same, we know that this one is a square. And the last shape, it could be a rectangle or a square. But since two, the two opposite sides are the same, meaning this and this, and this and this this is a rectangle all right so I have two more questions left on the next slide and then we're done all right let's go on to that last slide all right so which of the following is a pentagon is it this one or is it this one so let's try and remember the rules for what a pentagon needs. A pentagon needs five sides. Five sides. That is a big clue for us. So which of the following has, a f has five sides? Let's test each one. This has one, two, three, four, five, six. This has six sides. That means this one can't be it. Let's see this one. This one has one, two, three, four, five. This has five sides. That means this is our pentagon. Alright, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good day.